So today I want to review a book that I think is absolutely vital for understanding how we got into the global predicaments that we're in and how we can get out of them. And that is this book, Moral Origins, The Evolution of Virtue, Altruism, and Shame by Christopher Bohm. So Christopher Bohm is a highly respected anthropologist who initially worked with Jane Goodall studying primate behavior and then later went on to study um, social behavior and morality in hunter-gatherer societies. And what he did in this book, Moral Origins, is he explored the question, how did social behavior arise in human evolution? And in particular, during the long period of time from roughly 200,000 years ago up until the present in some cases, or 10,000 years ago before agrarian societies, he asked the question, in that context, how did cooperation arise? How was antisocial behavior contained? And what can we learn about that? in order to create social policies today that help us manage the, uh, the uh, sanctioning of bad behavior and the promotion of good behavior in society writ large. So what he found that I think is extremely helpful for us is he found that there is always a small percentage of any society that is going to be antisocial. And the way that I came to understand this is that about 1% of any population is born psychopathic, meaning that they're not able to feel bad about harm caused to others. So they have to learn the rules of the social group and experience the uh, social modeling or the social behavior um, that they need to learn by how other people treat them. And so what he did is he looked at a particular time in our evolutionary history, which was the time when small bands of hunter-gatherer societies, typically of 30 to 50 members, would engage in big game hunting. And big game hunting requires cooperation and then sharing of the spoils of, of the hunt. So one thing that he found was that in all hunter-gatherer societies that anthropologists have studied, and he did a, a law, a very comprehensive and broad a survey of the anthropological research was he found that in all cases they were egalitarian and he asked the question how did this cooperative behavior arise and the simple answer in case you don't want to read the book and just cut to the chase is that he found that for the antisocial behaviors these people that would be um, want to be dictators or bullies uh, in other words, the psychopaths, that the group would behave as a collective individual to suppress that bully and keep them from rising to power. So they did this through three levels of social sanctioning. The first level was shaming, meaning that if a person engaged in antisocial behavior, they were humiliated in front of the group. And if this didn't work, then they went to the next level, which was ostracism, kicking that individual out of the group because they were deemed to be bad for the group. And of course, in hunter-gatherer societies, being ostracized meant near certain death. So this was quite a significant behavior. And then the third level of sanctioning of behavior, which happened much less frequently, was execution, meaning that if the individual was found to be um, so harmful to the community and they weren't able to remove the, their behavior through the, er, the less severe means, then in very rare cases they would actually execute them. So this tells us a very important lesson that in our world, as we move into the 21st century, we need to reclaim the sanctioning of moral behavior, meaning we need to have collective sanctions against bad behavior if we want to promote the innate and natural uh, pro-social and cooperative behaviors of humans. So if you want to understand more about how this works and what anthropologists have learned across the decades of research and how pro-social behavior arises in human groups and also how to design social policies that promote social behavior and deter antisocial behavior, then this is one of those foundational texts that you will want to read. So again, Moral Origins by Christopher Bohm, an extremely important piece of scholarly work that is accessible to the layperson. So there you have it. I hope this is useful for you. And um, if you need to learn more about this, go and grab the book.